Welcome to Ashley Marie. Today we are making homemade peeps. Let's get started. Marshmallows are super easy to make and they only take a couple of ingredients. This is water, sugar, gelatin, and vanilla. The first thing we want to do is take the gelatin and pour it into some cold water. And give it a stir and let it sit for 10 minutes. Now we're gonna get our sugar mixture heating up. So we have water and sugar. And we're gonna bring that to just a low boil. We want that sugar to get dissolved. The sugar is dissolved and our gelatin has bloomed. We're gonna scrape out that gelatin and pull it out. It should just kinda come out like a disc. <laughs> And we're gonna add that to the sugar mixture and stir it until it's dissolved. It shouldn't take very long. Once the gelatin's dissolved, you wanna bring it up to a nice rolling boil and leave it boiling for 15 minutes. Now, you don't want it to overboil because if you boil it too vigorously, it will grow, 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 and overflow the pan. And that'll be just a hot mess, sticky and smelly. So mine's starting to grow. I'm gonna turn the temperature down a little bit. But if you turn it down too low and it just kind of barely simmers, that's not right either. So a nice rolling boil, some you know white foam on top without overflowing. Our 15 minutes are up and now we're gonna take it off the heat and let it cool until it's room temperature. I let it sit for an hour. To make your own colored sugar, you need sugar, a food processor, and your own color. So I'm going with golden yellow. You wanna grind it up just enough that the color gets saturated, but not so much that it turns into powdered sugar. Now, this is gonna be a little bit clumpy because of where like the liquid stuck to the sugar and the sugar's gonna be a little bit more damp than we want. So what we're gonna do is take the sugar and strain it and pour it out onto a cookie sheet. That's gonna get rid of all the big bumps, like that. And then what we're gonna do with what's left is put in the oven under like 170 degrees for like 10 minutes just to help dry the sugar out. The marshmallow mixture has cooled now, so this is when you add your flavoring. You can add vanilla, you can add peppermint, you can add vanilla bean paste, whatever it is that you wanna add to flavor your marshmallows. Now's the time to do it. And now we're gonna beat it until it's about tripled in size. You wanna start it on low till it starts to get white and foamy and then move it up to high. Now the more you beat it, the bigger it will get and then the fluffier your marshmallows will be and more airy. So see how thick and white and pretty this is? This is perfect. Now you can do a ton of different things with it. You can color it, you can shape it into peeps, you can pour it into molds, you can just pour it into a regular pan and then cut it into squares. This is where it, the fun begins. <laughs> Fill a piping bag with a 1A tip. We're gonna start piping, create a nice little Fill and squeeze down and that creates our oval shape. Stop squeezing and pull away and that's the tail. Pull away fast. So go right next to it, do the same thing, a nice little oval shape. But <laughs> stop squeezing, pull away fast. Now notice I'm not going super thick, I'm kind of keeping my tip close to the sugar so that it doesn't build up too much. This is just kind of our nice thin base. Squeezing, fast pull away. Now the body and the head of the peeps are where it kind of gets a little bit tricky. As you can see here, when I first tried it, they were a little bit melty. So I waited another 10 minutes and tried it again and now it's holding form again, but it's still not holding that thickness and shape quite right. So I waited another five minutes and now we're gonna try again. The difficulty in this comes in the fact that if you wait too long, the marshmallow will actually set completely and then you won't be able to pipe it at all. In fact, I've had an entire bag of marshmallow set on me and then I just had to cut it away and eat my big, huge cone-shaped marshmallow. You wanna start towards the front, pipe up, build up your body and see how now it's kind of, I'm kind of centered over the peep. So when you get to the top, stop squeezing. Start to pull away and then bring it to the front. And this is where I use my fingers. I kind of grab that marshmallow strand and pull away. It's messy, so keep a rag close by. But if I don't, then I get strings. So clean your tip. 
fill in big, more towards the center, build up the body, stop squeezing, start to pull away, bring it to the front, and pull away with your hands. You wanna get the marshmallows covered in sugar before they set completely. You might need to kind of press it around the nooks and crannies. And they're done. They look so pretty. I'm so happy with how they turned out. I hope you give this a try. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And leave me a comment if there's other things like these peeps or like cakes or anything else that you want to see more of and you want to be on this channel. For the printable recipe for the peeps, there's a link down below that will take you to my site and you can just click print and print it out nice and easy. So don't forget to click the show more button. All the links that you need are down there. All right, should we give this a try? Let's Pull this, these two apart, and rip. oh, so good. All right, are you guys a butt peep first or a head peep first? <laughs> All right, mm. oh, you guys. Mm. I love homemade marshmallows. There is just something so much better about homemade marshmallows than store-bought. They're light and airy and fluffy. They've got this nice sugary crunch on the outside. I can still feel it as I bite down. Homemade peeps are not that hard to make. Homemade marshmallows are super easy to make in any shape and form. Mmm. You guys have got to try this. So good. Mmm. Thanks for watching. <laughs>